Well, thanks for joining me today, Gigantoraptor. Oh, well, bless your heart. It is a pleasure to be here with you, Hop. Oh, well, but listen, I got to tell time. you. Oh, what was that? Sorry, honey, I talked over you. What was it's that, okay. dear? I, I'm just glad you could take some time with us today. I know, because I tell you, I don't have much time to dilly dally. I mean, I got babies to watch and over and to protect them. And, you know, it seems like there is always something trying to attack them, bless their little hearts. I tell you, it's a full time job. So you would say your work is absolutely never done. Oh, honey, you got that right. My days are packed from dawn till dusk, okay? I'm busier than a one-legged cat in a sandbox. I ain't just a big old bird. I'm a caregiver through and through. I use my sharp claws and and speed to, feed, uh, to fend off all those threats, okay? But then it's my soft heart that keeps me going. I even take in orphan babies of rifle species. Can you imagine that? Wow. Oh, it's a lot of work, but you know somebody's got to do it. Mm. So, do you think people misunderstand the protection aspect, that desire you have? Oh, oh, honey, let me tell you, I reckon they do. Some folks, they, they see my size and my claws, right, and they think I'm just a big old brute. But really, I'm all about love and care, okay? I just want to make sure my little ones grow up strong and safe. It ain't about fighting. It's about protecting and nurturing, honey. So mm. the, the videos of, of people being chased by, by gigantoraptors is not something that is the norm. Well, I mean, if they get a little too close to my, my brood, well, yeah, you're going to get chased, honey, because I need to protect. I don't know you. We ain't friends yet. I ain't coming to your house with jello. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, yeah, that does happen, dear. It does. But, I mean, that's what I'm saying, though. They're going to assume that I'm just all about fighting. But really what I'm saying is, hey, I got babies over here, honey, and you ain't invited. We ain't friends. So back off. Make sure my babies are safe. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's interesting you mentioned babies because... It seems like the ability for some people to come and, and adopt the babies uh, and, and just basically take them out of your nest. How does it make you feel when someone does mm. that and adopts one of your babies? Mm. Oh, good question, Hop. Now, listen, it, it's kind of like a mixed bag, honey. Um, let me tell you. So, on one hand, I've done my part. I've been teaching them the basics, okay? And I know that at the end of it, they'll be just fine. But on the other hand, I tell you, I feel a bit silly. People come and do these funny little dances with my babies, and then they just kind of walk away with them. Like, it's hard letting go and all, but I don't know. I guess I trust that they'll be well taken care of. You know, it's not much I can do about it. Well, I understand, but I mean, have you ever actually thought about teaching the babies not to do the dances that gets them taken away <laughs> oh sweetie you can only do so much with kids okay i can teach them to hunt to fend for themselves but tell them not to dance well that's like herding cats they're gonna do what they're gonna do all i can do is hope that they remember the important lessons that i taught them oh well that's that's really good it sounds like you really do have a a, a mama's heart. I do. I do. So nice of you to, to recognize that, honey. I appreciate that. Well, I am scared to death right now because you're really tall. Anyway, if the, uh, if the words are perfect. I know. I'm, I've always been the <laughs> tallest in my class, da darling. I know. But don't be intimidated. Come here. Give me a little hug. Oh, I'll see. I'm oh, all nice. Scary. See, okay. when we're friends, we're friends. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to uh, out. Now, uh, if the world were perfect... Oh, you invited. Oh, yeah, you invited. Right, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> in a perfect world, what would you do with your time if you didn't have to be so hypervigilant protecting the babies? Hmm. Okay. Um, in a perfect world, 
I'd spend my days just roaming and exploring with my babies. We'd go on long walks, gathering food, and enjoying the sunshine, you know? Um... You know, maybe I'd even take some time for myself, you know, relax by a nice watering hole or something. Oh, excuse me one moment, sugar. I see a little one wandering off there. Hey, Jimboa Bina. Yeah, stop biting your adopted sister, Rexy. You know she's going to grow up big one day and bite you back. And I promise you donuts and dollars, you ain't going to like it then. Oh, and you, Triceratina. Come on, put that rock down. That is not food, darling. It is tougher than a $2 steak, and you'll hurt yourself trying to eat that. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Little Spino Sam, get out of that water. You're still too little to be dancing in that piranha-infested pool, and I ain't patching you up again. Remember the last time? Yeah, we were picking teeth out of your tail for a week. I swear you got me sweating like a sinner in church with all your shenanigans. Oh, oh I am goodness. so sorry, Hop. I am so sorry, sweetie. Butter my biscuits. It is always something with these little ones. They are busier than a fly at a picnic. But you're just, oh, you just seem still. to do such a good job with them. They just seem to mind you well, so well. Well, I tell you, they are my pride and joy and ain't nothing sweeter. Than a child's laughter. You know what I mean? I mean, my granny always says, raising kids is like trying to nail jello to a wall, okay? But it is the sweetest challenge you will ever face, all right? So, um, as I was saying, I would love to spend more time just enjoying the world with my little ones, teaching them the joys of being a gigantoraptor with all of the danger, without, excuse me, without all of that danger, but, but right now, now, it's all about keeping them safe and sound, you know? Now, if you'll excuse me, I, I kind of got to get back to them before they find more trouble. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a real treat being here with you all on your show. I appreciate you being here and taking that time away and just uh, go take care of those kids. Oh, thank you. I will, honey, and I'll see you at the barbecue. You bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, the Gigantoraptor. Oh, what an experience. Thanks a lot.